talk about personal goals. Now, personal goals are very important. Um, I don't know if you ever seen people who walk around a bit aimless, no purpose. Maybe you felt that sense of purposelessness, purposelessness in your life before. Well, I can tell you a lot of that comes down to not having personal goals or direction. And what we're going to talk about in this course is why it's important for you, before we start anything else, to set up personal goals. And I'm going to give you a process to help you set up your own personal goals right now that's going to help you set the course over the bigger portion of your life, next couple of years, 25 years really. And that's what I recommend because once you know your long-term goals, then you have something to build on and it gives you a lot of purpose and direction in life. One of the greatest self-development speakers of all time, Jim Rohn, said that one of his mentors told him or asked him, hey, do, do you have any goals written down? He said, no, I actually don't have any goals. He said, well, because you don't have any goals written down, I can tell you how much money you have in your bank account. I want to let that sit in for a second. Because you don't have any goals, I can tell you exactly how much money you have in your bank account. See, a lot of people think they're not successful, but I can tell you the people with money, the mentors I've learned from, the wealthy people all have goals. They have a direction they're going. There's things they want to accomplish. And if you want to be successful, then you need to set goals. And I'm going to give you a process here to set goals that are going to allow you to set up your goals and then come back to this over and over again. So every time you need to get direction or get a place that you want to go in life, you understand the process for setting goals and understand how me and all the successful people I know set goals in order to be successful. So there's two parts of this. I'm going to put it back on the screen. If you got your companion booklet, you'll see this. But there's two parts of this. Now, one part of that is the goals portion, right? And we're going to break this down so you understand what type of goals you should be setting. And then there's going to be the habits, things that you want to build, habits you want to build into your life. And we do this over a couple of periods, right? So the first period is 90 days. Then we do a year. Then we do three years. And then we do 10 to 25 years. Now, this is going to be very important in business also, but we need to have your personal goals set in order to be successful. And we're going to break it down the exact same way with habits you want to build. So let's talk about these two things really quickly. What are goals? These are long term things that you want to accomplish. If I said I want to have a business that generates a million dollars by the end of this year, that would be a goal that I'm setting. Um, but let's say I want to get up and read a book every day, read 10 pages out of a book every day. Well, that would be a habit I want to build. If I want to make sure that I put in an eight hour work day every day, well, that would be a habit I want to build. And the thing what you're going to see with this is that by breaking this down in pieces, you can slowly start building better habits into your life. and You'll slowly start working towards those goals you want to accomplish in the long term in the future. So let's talk about the five things that we should be setting. We should set health, wealth, relationships, contribution and faith goals. Right. So health goals have to do with your personal health. I can tell you. It doesn't matter how much money you make. If you're not healthy enough to enjoy it, then it doesn't really make much sense. And I'm not going to hear telling you what you should be eating or anything like this. I'm just saying that you need to set health goals. So if you want to get in shape, if you want to eat better, if you want to um, experience more life, you know, get out more, whatever it is, you need to set these health goals to make sure that they're in alignment with what you want to do. Now, each one of these goals, you're going to want to set two to three in these intervals. So 90, 90 days, one year three to five years and 10 to 25 years. So where do you want to be in all those areas of business? And don't worry if you don't know it right off the bat, but take time to sit down and really consider this. So the next thing is relationship goals. Now, when I sat down and first did this, I said relationship goals, why are those important? But then I realized as I got more friends and start networking with the right people, how important relationship goals are. And we definitely have people who talk to you about networking. You know the importance of networking now. So you understand how just a couple of conversations could change your entire circumstances. So relationship goals are not just about, you know, who you're dating or anything like that. But seriously, what type of people do you want in your life? What type of people do you want to meet? Do you want to meet millionaires? Do you want to meet mentors? Do you want to meet great spiritual leaders? What, what do you want to do? What type of people do you want to meet? I would even recommend writing down famous people and celebrities that you want to meet as goals. This is a good way to get started because it starts moving you in that direction of what you want to do. But I mean, not only that, I would I would even recommend that you talk about what type of energy you want around you. Get a little weird with you, which basically means like you want positive people around you. Do you want real hardcore grinding people around you? Do you want more spiritual light people around you? Whatever it is, there's different cultures that are successful. We're teaching you fundamental principles. But what's important is to set your direction, not my direction, not anybody you've seen on here's direction, but your direction and understanding your relationship goals are important. Now, this is the one that most people set, which is which is wealth goals, right? What wealth goals do you have? 
And that can mean multiple things, but to make it simple in this course, let's just talk about the type of monetary stuff you want to have. So you could have a monetary goal. You could have um, a cash flow goal. I like cash flow goals like $1,000 a day, $10,000 a day, because cash flow is really strong. And it's almost like having infinite money versus, you know, if I had a million dollars just sitting there and I'm not making any money, well, I won't have a million dollars for long. But that's for another topic. But wealth goals. What type of wealth do you want to accumulate? What type of assets do you want to have? Do you want to have real estate investments? Do you want to have properties? Do you want to have stocks? Do you want to have dividends? Do you want to have um, Bitcoin? Whatever it is, you need to set these goals in the time that you want to accomplish them. So once again, each one of these goals, remember, 90 days. What type of money do you want to make in the next 90 days? One year, three to five years, 10 to 25 years. And one, one quick note about all these goals, the 25-year goal should be big enough to to make it where it's exciting to you, right? I've seen a lot of people lose motivation because the goals they have just aren't that exciting to them. So if I say, hey, I wanna make a million dollars in the next 25 years, and I make a million dollars in the next five years, then what do I have to motivate me? But if I say something crazy, like I wanna own 25 skyscrapers and make $60 billion in the next 25 years, that's a big enough goal to excite me. And you should set goals similar like that in each one of these categories. Next contribution. Now, I always recommend that you say what type of contribution you want to give to society within your goals. This makes your goals a lot less selfish, but um, this is just one thing that I recommend because I believe it's very important that you understand what contribution you want to give back. Me, I know that I want to help start one million seven figure businesses over the next 25 years. I talk about that constantly all the time, and that's why I put out courses and stuff like that. So um, by you taking this, I'm hoping that you will become one of those million seven figure businesses that I'm got, trying to create over the next 25 years. That makes sense. So what contributions do you want to make? 90 days, one year, three to five years, 10 to 25 years. You can see where this is going. And finally, faith. Faith has to do with your own sense of morality. So I'm not going into faith, whether it's religious or anything like that. Everybody's entitled to believe what they believe. But what I'm talking about is the thing that grounds you morally. The thing that makes you feel good inside. So if it's so if it's religion for you, if it's um, just you know your morality, just how you feel about the world, if it's spirituality, whatever it is, what are the goals you want to accomplish in that aspect of your life? Do you want to be a better person? Do you want to be you know smarter in that area? Do you want to help people more? Whatever it is, these are the things you need to break down. And all of these areas form the goals that you should be looking for personally over the next couple of years. Now a lot of this stuff will overlap because it's like wealth goals will probably tie into those business goals, but this is very important. And then I want you to go all the way down, as you see this on the screen right here, I want you to go all the way down and set the same thing for habits. What type of habits do you want to build in these areas over the next couple of days? So when I first started off um, to get back into reading more, because I used to read so much, to get back and reading more, one of the habits I wanted to build over the next 90 days was to read at least 20 to 30 pages of a book a day. That was just a simple goal I had of something that's going to help me be successful in business. Um, one of the goals I had when it came to relationships is that I wanted to meet at least five new people a day or like 20 new people a week. So I got that habit built up. But by doing that, I start meeting a lot more people. I start getting out there more. And these habits eventually turned into something that was just embedded in me that lead to more success in my life. Same thing when it came to business. I used to get up and I had this app called Toggle and I would log hours. I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to log eight hours a day. But what I found by logging eight hours a day, I got more work done. Because I got more work done, I, got, I was more successful. So it's very simple. I want you to go through the same thing. So we went through all the different areas you should, you should be setting these goals. So I don't have to go through them again. But do the same thing. What habits do you want to build in 90 days? What habits do you want to build in a year? What uh, habits do you want to build in three to five years? And what habits do you want to build in 10 to 25 years? Having this right now, you have a map of your personal goals that you want to set. And write these goals down. Take time, stop the video, whatever it is, before you go on to the next video, write these personal goals down because I can tell you, like, like I said in the beginning, if you don't have goals, it's very easy to predict where your bank account is because you don't have any direction where you want to go. And I can promise you, people who are successful, they set goals. People who build long-term success, they, they have goals. And I want you to build long-term success, so I want you to have some potent goals. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of the course, and I... Get out there and set those goals. <laughs>